people do still think I'm like five. Even little kids think I'm like five. And um, I would tell them that I am 18 and they'd be like, wow, you're sure for being 18. Now 19 years old, Hannah Kritzik is just under a metre tall. She was born with primordial dwarfism, a rare genetic disorder which only affects around 100 people worldwide. Just because I'm small, I'm no different. Hannah faces a shortened life expectancy and lives every day like it's her last. Despite her condition, she's on a mission to become a star with her enormous talents. Hannah lives in Hugo, Minnesota, with parents Jackie and Larry, and dogs Princess and Ella. Despite being an adult, she weighs just under 30 pounds and wears children's size 4 shoes. Hannah's passion is performing, and she attends dance classes with other students her age. It makes you feel good, like hip hop makes me feel strong, and ballet calms me down. I'm gonna like travel, like dancing, I like to be in movies, make dance, like ballet, or all that. Even though her body is the size of a young child, she has no trouble keeping up. Obviously there's a size difference, um, but that really doesn't stop her. She can definitely freestyle, probably better than a lot of the other dancers here. She's a triple threat. She can sing, she can dance, and she can act. Yeah, she can do all the stuff we do in dance. Like that. There's not like much she can't do, so she does it all. And like most teenage girls, Hannah's other interests include shopping for clothes and hanging out with her friends. She's the same in um, any teenager would be because she loves dancing, she loves singing, she likes boys. Shopping. Today I didn't really find anything for me to wear. But while hanging out with her friends helps the bubbly teen to feel more normal, there's no escaping the attention her unusual condition brings. People do still think I'm like five. Even little kids think I'm like five. And um, I would tell them that I am 18 and they'd be like, wow, you're sure for being 18. Primordial dwarfism is still not fully understood by medical professionals and few people with the condition live into their 20s. Because of her delicate situation, Hannah and her mum Jackie have an extremely close bond. I know I have a special bond with her. She's kind of like my sidekick. We just do everything together. The problems, the risks are going to be always there. And yes, that does worry me a lot. Hannah does have a dream to have her own family, to have a husband, to have a child. I guess the delving on the life expectancy, that's the part that just don't like to talk about it, do need to face it, so, but we're just gonna live each day like there isn't one tomorrow. I mean, that's all you can do, live to the fullest. And Hannah understands the gravity of her situation. I do have to go to a lot of doctors. I have lots of problems. I have to check my blood pressure a lot. You never know if something's gonna go wrong. But the seriousness of her condition hasn't stopped her making plans for the future. But I like to have a boyfriend. He needs to have blue eyes, brown hair, mohawk, and earrings. He has to be tough right now. And cute. Perhaps because of her uncertain future, Hannah relishes new challenges and isn't afraid to put herself in the spotlight. I'm bulletproof. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, this is why I love what you're doing. I want to be a singing coach. I'm mean, gonna like travel, like dancing, I like to be in movies, make dance, like ballet. And she has an inspirational message for others wanting to make every moment count. Don't give up the dream and just keep trying. <laughs> <laughs>